Hey everyone, it's Little Lolly Cat here, and yes, I'm wearing, once again wearing the same panda onesie, but I accidentally, well not really accidentally, I fell asleep with a window open last night in my room, so I literally woke up to zero degree temperatures in my room, and like frozen juice, which was interesting, because I always have like this bottle of juice I carry around with me all day, you just have water at night, have juice during the day. This is usually made up for the morning and it was starting to freeze. So <laughs> it's a wee bit chilly in here. That's why I think the dog will hear is snuggling in as well. He's returned. So I have more reviews to do because I made, along with a few of my friends, we made a massive ABDL factory order, including ones for me to get samples of things that I hadn't tried yet or ones I had tried but I wanted to show for reviews and stuff like that. I'm just because I want to get hold of a couple of packs of Takeables before they were gone in the style that they're in because I prefer the old style to the way the new ones look so apparently the new ones have better tabs though which is good but um, yeah I thought I'd get a hold of a couple of packs like I did before when they shut down like you know got bought over because they used to be snuggies so expect a few <laughs> videos because I have all these to review and yes, they're super puffy. And you may see some that you um, recognise. So I have even included some medical ones, which is rare for me. So yes, it's a bit different. So the one I am going to review today is going to be out of this massive pile. It's going to be one that I've been told about quite a lot. And that is this one, which looks fairly plain and it is a constant dry 24 7 and as you can see they are mega mega puffy these are not an ABDL brand these are a what's the word they're a medical brand and they are actually fairly expensive they are fairly expensive for a non ABDL brand but they are 24 7 as they say in the name so they're supposed to be able to be worn for longer periods of time they are plastic and they're mildly loud but not the loudest. They are super puffy. They have front waistband, back waistband. They have two tabs, which I will get to. I've used these. They're actually quite good. Um, I'm just going to say they don't have a blue strip, but they do have high standing leg guards as standard and they are actually fairly soft and comfortable. I will give them that. But I will say these are basically, was it, they were, they're £32 for a pack of 16, not 16, 18 from factory, which means that they cost about just short of £2 a diaper, which is pretty, really expensive for a non ABDL brand. Like really expensive. I have heard wonderful things about these so I thought I would actually try them. And I do love the fact that they are genuinely all white. They don't have a strip showing wetness. They don't have any of that. They are all white apart from the tabs which are blue. They are the two try tabs I believe actually. And I never actually had to try the second tab on them when I tried them out. They just worked instantly. But I will say that it is important that they have these because as you can see they don't have a landing strip but they do have the soft plastic backing which is similar to crinkles and the problem with that <laughs> is that if you get it wrong when you land you can't remove the tab you have to break the tab off and use the other tab because if you do this plastic backing just tears open and so there's a bit of issue with re alignment they are these are mediums but they are very very large made like heckin big made <laughs> they the one downside of these i would say is usually if i go medical i usually go for ones that are a bit more subtle because medical are made to be subtle because obviously people don't want you to see them but i wore these out to the deer center which there's a chance that you might notice in a video I'm putting up. I don't know if I'm putting it up before this or not because I still need to put it all together. 
but I went to the deer center in these and dungarees and I swear in half the pictures it looks like I have a very protruding tum and crotch and I'm like oh god it was it was more obvious than I realized which is not so grand but no one really minded and I or noticed at least I think they might have they might just thought I was a bit chunkier than usual either way <laughs> but I really despite that I would really really recommend them like I wore them for a full day and I think I used them about seven or eight times and I had absolutely no issues like I took them off thinking I had fairly probably destroyed them and just Discovered that they probably could have held comfortably quite a bit more because they do disperse and there were areas that were obviously a bit a little bit more swollen than others but generally they held up really well I would I think when it comes to absorbency like clear absorbency people probably use like ABUs like little paws and space as a good sort of comparison because they hold you know 500 well, five litres of liquid. This could probably hold more. And I know because I have completely destroyed a little pause with the amount that I used in that one alone. The only downside is the fact that it is so expensive. And they aren't very readily available, especially if you're in the UK. So, like I said, they basically average out to about two pound, like a pound eight or something a diaper, which is pretty expensive. You get a pack of 18 you don't get smaller pack options. Um, I got samples from APDL Factory and I was really surprised because I wasn't going to pay the whole thing if it was really awful. But it held out really, really well. Like, I would really happily buy more of those. I mean, I'm not so happy about the price, but I would happily buy more of them. So, I would, overall, like, I would say they were actually pretty outstanding and the fact that they were plain white, they were puffy, and they didn't actually look that bad on, they sat nicely. The only downside, the biggest downside is the fact that you can't readjust tabs and that you can tear the, f the fabric off if you do because obviously if you're paying that much you don't really expect. If you're paying that much you think they could add a landing strip so you could readjust. But the tabs themselves were very strong. So I definitely recommend them. I say if you get the chance and you have the money, like splash out because they are actually very, very good, especially for a medical brand. Like they are outdoing a lot of ABDL brands, but obviously with a higher price tag. So yeah, definitely recommend. They were so good. <laughs> I hope that was helpful. Um, if you are in the UK, you can buy them from ABDL Factory or you can get them from I believe Save Express might do them. I'm not 100% sure, but that does Europe as well. If you're in the US, they're far easier to buy. They actually have websites dedicated to them, like loads of incontinence websites. And you can even buy them on Amazon. You can't over here. So keep an eye out. They are worth a try. Okay. And I will talk to you all later. Bye, everyone. <laughs>